Hello, sacred souls. It's Susanna from Alamanic Shaman. What I have here for us tonight is uh, removing the spirit spouse demon or demons. So we have Incubus, which is a demon in male form that seeks uh, intercourse through the spiritual realm with sleeping women. And then the opposite would be Succumbus, uh, Succubus, sorry, a demon in female form that seeks intercourse with sleeping men. So again, both of that takes place in the astral realm. And this may manifest in dreams in which the person might have sex and then wake up aroused. Um, so those are called spirit husband and spirit wife demons. And um, as I mentioned in my video yesterday, they can be attached to us in a generational curse as it is the case like with my bloodline and we already kind of broke that curse yesterday but today we're going to focus more on removing those demonic entities and um, they can also come in to us if we have sex with a person who is possessed by any of those demonic entities so let's say if you have sexual intercourse with someone who has that spirit spouse entity in it or that demon, then that can also take a hold of you, right? So basically, um, whatever happens in 3D also applies to 4D. So if you're having consensual sex with a person in 3D that you know, you feel attracted to and everything seems normal. Um, if that person is possessed by the spirit spouse demon, then after that, that demon has your consent to access you in the spiritual realm as well. Um, so yeah, that's like weird, tricky stuff. And um, for some reason, um, in some of the sources that I was guided to today, Lilith, who is like basically often portrayed as the bride of the underworld, uh, the bride of the devil, um, but who was also considered the mother of Incubus and Succubus, and she is considered the demon of the night. So I believe, like based on my current understanding, is that whatever entity um, is attached to some of those demons or connected to them can also indirectly have access to you. But I'm not sure if there's more to it than that because like she rules over them. So they're basically underneath her. And I believe that Lilith is simply the female form that the devil can take on and Lucifer or Satan would be the male form. But again, it's like... I'm going more by what I'm guided to rather than a lot of resources. Sometimes I'm guided to specific resources, but anyway, <laughs> um, however you want to think about this, we're going to remove those things. And um, generational or not, if you think, basically um, that demon that spirit spouse demon if they can you know get what they want so basically in the beginning it may just be sex but then or like a spiritual like on the spirit plane but then it it might become more and more sort of forceful and you may not necessarily want it but there's sort of a more forced um, way that they continue that might be considered kind of like um, astral rape or something, right? Um, but basically, if they don't get, if those demons don't get what they want, that's when they start taunting you and when they start making your life more and more difficult uh, to try to 
you know, get you to succumb and basically to to get you to become weak enough that they can actually enter inside of you, like on a on a spiritual level. I actually had it a while ago. Once there was um, a woman who was practicing the dark arts, which I realized <laughs> then when she started attacking me and in that whole process of her throwing black magic at me, um, she came to me in a dream, basically in the disguise of a security guard and demanded to know what stone I was wearing underneath my shirt because I guess she couldn't continue, like she couldn't actually get into me because I was protected. And I told her it was none of her effing business. And she demanded a second time to know the same thing. And I gave her the same answer. And then poof, it was done, finished. And I was safe and protected. And she could not continue, right? So that was one time. And then another time, I was... Um, invaded by two dark entities in the daytime I had made a mistake of interacting with two sketchy characters and had not realized that the simple interaction and the way it was going and like basically yeah it's a long story anyhow so that interaction basically allowed them to then energetically attack me at night, which I hadn't fully realized at that point. And um, funny enough, that evening, I had a feeling I should sleep with a crystal wand in my hand. And as they attacked, and they they attacked me so fast because it was two, they were already basically, like in my dream, it was my childhood home. They were in there and they had already immobilized my body no, wait a minute. That was another, that was the third one. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot about that. And I started screaming, but in a way of like, how dare you, you know, get out. And they left. So that was the third one, actually. Sorry. Back to the second one where a dark entity tried to invade me. And I stabbed it with the crystal wand that I had in my hand because I was sleeping with it because my intuition guided me to do that. And I didn't have to say anything or do anything else. I just stabbed it with the crystal wand, which was actually a rainbow fluorite crystal wand. So if anyone is dealing with anything of that sort, here's the tip. Like that really worked. All I did was poof and it was gone. So, okay, coming back to the stuff that's happening here. Um, so basically, we're going to... Like, break, we're going to banish them from our body, mind, spirit, soul, energy field. Um, and any and all other aspects that are connected to us through our bloodlines, through any and all interactions we've had, and so on. And um, I'm actually gonna look down a little bit here not that you can see me but, um, because I took some notes so basically like declaring our body the territory of the creator source energy God the Holy Spirit whatever resonates with you and renouncing the spirit spouse or in my case I'm gonna say banishing it right and um, sort of evicting it and then aborting anything that they planted inside of us so like in the source that I was guided to they talked about Nephilim but I'm gonna call it kind of like the the child in quotation marks would be the destruction in all areas of our lives if that dark entity did not get what they wanted because like if you do not succumb to them they will try to destroy and affect negatively affect every aspect of your life finances career success relationships etc cetera, etc cetera, right so any and all aspects will be negatively affected by it and it seems like everything at every turn goes wrong and you ha you have constant bad luck and so on right 
Okay, so let's get started. Oh, and um, I'm going to quickly explain here. So I actually have a mini sword that I was guided to get to connect to the spirit of the dragon. See, like the beautiful dragon here. Um, because... I often work with dragon energy as well, and it's actually a very protective mother dragon. And this is not sharp, so I can't see. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like not sharp. See, um, so I can't actually cut it directly, but um, symbolically I will. And then I'll use my little pocket knife because I didn't exactly think of doing it this way until like I had already left home, and you know. Um, but also Archangel Michael usually works with a sword. So it's going to serve a dual purpose. Um, since I was a Templar in a past lifetime, I felt that the sword was the way for me to actually connect with the dragon. Because that's sort of my strongest spirit ally in the... Not quite fighter sense, but sort of, right? So we're going to use that. Then here the stick is going to represent us and our bloodline, our lineage, our uh, previous and continuing generations in our family. And the left one is going to be inc Incubus, the the male spirit spouse demon or spirit husband demon, they often call it. And then on the right side is the female one, the succubus. And um, funny enough, the way they were hanging on the shelf um, in the dollar store earlier, like this one was kind of positioned like a female, <laughs> which is almost how it still is now. And that one looked more similar to this, but the foot was hooked onto one of those metal hooks in the store that they hang things on. So I also felt very strongly that that was kind of symbolic of like stopping me from moving ahead, right? So, and then I was guided to, and I love Halloween, um, to also put them in spiritual jail, so in 4D jail. And usually when I do that, I don't add in hell, but in this case, I felt guided to do that. And I'm going to show you this side first. Again, for Halloween, they have like <laughs> some pretty neat stuff. Um, but here, I actually made little clay figurines and put them in there and that is sort of their jail cell right so I glued little sticks on to make it look like a jail cell and from the citronella candles I bought also at the store earlier the one sticker came off and attached itself to this and it says light up it was on the other side actually it was right here over the crown chakra of the skull Oops, sorry, I'm not holding it right. So the sticker was actually right here over the crown chakra of the skull. And it said, light up. So so I felt that was also like quite the sign that, yeah, yeah, I got to do this. <laughs> I definitely got to do this. So I put Incubus and Succubus in there, but also Lilith. So there are actually three little clay figurines in there. And it's a little hard to see, but you can kind of see some clay in there and I don't know if you can see any more in there but there's like three in there okay so that's that um, I may or may not throw alcohol on top at the end to make it burn really well um, some rubbing alcohol um, then we have a bell for some reason I feel like with this um, we gotta go a little bit more kind of religious and an or religion inspired um, but also I was guided to light three candles so that would be incubus succubus and lilith as well as like in my case it goes back to a lifetime in ancient Egypt where my soul was cursed with this blood curse I don't know if it was actually the same bloodline but for some reason I don't know that was the guidance I got so 
um, and that triangular rock also. Oops, sorry. <laughs> My camera work still needs a bit of work. Um, so the triangular rock also represents a pyramid, right? So symbolic for ancient times. So once we banish the dark stuff, we're going to, or I'm going to light these candles to replace the dark energy that was removed and the dark entities with light. Okay, so that's going to be very symbolic. And I may or may not hit these and use the rattle. Most likely I will use the rattle. And um, we have some portals and gateways to close so that they can no longer access us. And of course, we're going to do the cord cutting. Um, I do have two extra bottles in case I feel guided to also close a portal for Lilith and the devil. But my understanding is that they can only get to us through the spirit spouse attachments or spirit spouse demons. So two should be sufficient. But I'm going to feel it out as we go. Because a lot of times, like in the moment, something does feel right or wrong. So then I'll know. And if it doesn't quite feel right, then I'll make the corrections as we go. Okay. All right. So without further ado, let's get started by calling in our spirit guides. And let's do this. Okay. Dear creator, higher power, source and soul energy, our higher selves, our higher spirit guides of the light. And in particular, I'm going to call in Archangel Michael and the great spirit of the mother dragon that I've been working with, who works on the side of light, of course. And um, of course, the great spirit of the fire that's been amazing at burning away a lot of the dark stuff and also sort of sending our prayers symbolically up to heaven with the smoke um okay so please help us in fully and completely disconnecting from any and all spirit spouse demons and attachments and also if directly or indirectly lilith or the devil have access to us through that they shall also be fully and completely disconnected from us. So first, we withdraw any and all consent, implied or otherwise, direct or indirect consent, to access us and our energy field. And we evict any and all demons, spirit spouse demons, spirit husband demons, and spirit wife demons, Lilith and the devil in all its forms as Lucifer, Satan, etc., whatever, um, Beelzebub, whatever else there is. We evict all of them from our body, mind, spirit, soul, energy field, our chakras, our um, aura, and anything else, any and all other aspects of our lives. Throughout all of time and space, throughout all lifetimes, timelines, parallel and alternate realms, realities, multi and universes, and any and all other aspects that affect us in this lifetime. Let's cut any and all ties, cords, bonds, soul bindings, vows, soul contracts, shackles, chains, leashes, uh, karmic bonds, karmic connections, and karmic debts. And remove any and all black magic, evil witchcraft, spells, curses, hexes, um, ill wishes, and anything else of that sort where ill intent was placed on us and where those spirit spouse attachments and demons were able to attach to us through black magic and or otherwise. They shall now all fully and completely be cut and removed from us. Throughout all of time and space, throughout all lifetimes, timelines, parallel and alternate realms, realities, multi and universes. Ooh, and this is really hard to do with one hand. And any and all other aspects that affect us in this lifetime. Okay, I will get this. Just, I didn't bring my other scissors because I didn't really 
have a very good sense this morning yet that I was going to do this. I just knew that we would have to do a bit more and it would regard the demons, but not exactly. I didn't know exactly how. So a little bit of patience and I will get this. Okay, hold on. I think it's coming off. Okay, all right. Here we go. Whoops, and it fell over. Ha ha ha, that's a good sign too. Okay, and here I actually had two um, because I was guided to do it this way only when I added the second one. So... I, seven star, banish incubus from all of our lives, now and forever, until all eternity, and cast you back to hell to burn in the fires of hell for all eternity. And so it is, all my relations. And I cast you, succubus, out of our lives, and banish you back to hell to burn in the fires of hell for all eternity. And so it is all my relations. You shall be banished into 4D jail. Hold on, let me get up. I banish Incubus, Succubus, and Lilith. Um, but that includes basically the devil in all its forms, although it's represented in the female form here. I banish you into 40 jail in hell. I banish you out of our 3D and 4D worlds here in our human lives and cast you back to hell to burn in the fires of hell for all eternity to never bother us again and to, to be harmless without powers you shall be stripped of all your powers and all your rights to access any of us. And you shall be rendered harmless. And so it is. All my relations. Oh, Oops. oh now I'm sitting on my notebook. Whoops. One second. Okay, here we go. Oh, interesting. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. So the one page that ripped out was the one where I wrote down my notes about Incubus and Succubus. But also my birth grandfather's first name is at the top, which I'm not going to show you exactly. But um, that's what I was guided to again and again. I kept seeing the last name and the first. Oh, actually, I think I just did. Oops. <laughs> Um, I kept being shown the first name and the last name and came across it so many times. And I knew it had something to do with how messed up my mother was. But I didn't know any details. And to this day, I don't know exactly. But I have a pretty good idea that there was something that was probably sexually inappropriate. Um, so... Since it was a generational curse, it was passed down from generation to generation. And I feel like this also needs to be burned. So this part is not for the rest of you. Whoops. Hold on. Let's go around here. But Oh, yeah. And the name already burnt away. Haha. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So if any of you want to burn any specific names of people where you know that um, basically gave you that spirit spouse attachment, then it shall also be removed from them. So that might also be something worth considering if, you know, that's the case with you. Okay, so let me just switch hands. Okay, I asked. For the creator, higher power, source, energy, to banish all these evil demons, the spirit, spouse, demons, Lilith, and the devil, or Lilith, Lilith, also being a part of the devil, 
I cast all of them out of our lives and back to hell now and forever for all eternity throughout all of time and space, throughout all lifetimes, timelines, parallel and alternate realms, realities, multi and universes, and any and all other aspects that affect us in the 